hope you're doing well. Uh, did you know American coffee cake doesn't actually have coffee in it generally? We found this out last night and this is what this video is all about. What was it you just found? A cinnamon roll coffee cake. Right, and you want me to make that tomorrow? Yes, please. But yeah. there's no actual coffee in it, so I don't know how it's a coffee cake. What? Apparently, American coffee cake doesn't contain coffee. What? The name coffee cake implies that the cake is served with coffee as a snack, breakfast or brunch item. American coffee cakes are flavoured with either fruit or cinnamon. I never knew that. I'm going to go to the supermarket now. I'm going to go to bed. Nice. And that is actually legit. Uh, Mrs. B found this cinnamon roll coffee cake thing on Tasty. She wanted me to give a go, which is why we're doing that today. A coffee cake may refer to a sponge cake flavored with coffee, which is generally in the UK, or in the United States, a sweet cake intended to be eaten with coffee or tea, like a tea cake. Like genuinely, uh, my mind was blown last night as I went to the supermarket. This is literally the best time of day to go shopping, although my phone camera doesn't agree with me. Dead as a dodo. So that's what I'm going to attempt today. And today's video, actually, I wanted to talk about like embracing, like changing things up. And it's kind of like a hot topic on the channel fairly recently, even though we're taking a step back temporarily, hopefully. So because Mrs. B wanted that cake, I was like, do you know what? She's going to finish work later on today. I want it to be ready for when she gets home. So it's hopefully still nice and warm. And I'm personally trying to embrace change. I'm very rigid with how I normally film things. Normally I have a daily routine that starts something like this. I'll wake up and feed Boston. He'll gobble away on his breakfast. I'll put the kettle on, have a coffee. Hey, you wanna go walkies? Come back and get a little bit of breakfast cereal. Get have a shower, get all nice and clean, powder my nose, and then I'm ready to film. That is drilled into me, like literally I must film first thing in the morning. I would never do what I'm doing today, so I'm trying to embrace change. And I was gonna get the lights out that Cam helped set up, but I don't know how I was gonna do it. It was supposed to be like thundering today. In fact, the weather is now changing a bit. So this is this thing of, for me personally, trying to overcome, like trying to embrace change, and it's okay to mix things up sometimes. Like this morning, I edited, which I would never normally do. I would always film and then edit. I actually edited uh, with Boston by my side and had like the osteopath I've just got back and it's now half past one in the afternoon and it is gonna get dim and dark in here but I, I, it's gonna be all right and of course embracing this change of thing of like a cinnamon coffee cake that doesn't actually have coffee in it although I might do one section of it. So, all being well by the end of this uh, video, it won't be too dark in here. I was gonna set the lights up, but I I'm feeling all right. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Who cares, right? We're gonna make this cake and see what Mrs. B thinks. So it's a cinnamon roll cake with, uh, with cinnamon sort of layered in between it, and then there's a cream cheese icing. I'm gonna probably not put coffee in the icing, but I might do a little bit on the cinnamon. Let's get going. For me, this feels so weird, but we'll make a nice cake. And if you might be able to hear the rain, that is proper coming down. If it thunders as well, it's gonna be amazing. It's really dim and dark in here, but I've bumped the camera up to the max. It's proper rustic. We're just gonna go for it and eat a cake in the afternoon. Why not? Coffee cake it is. That's so, that's blown my mind, like genuinely. What? So we've got some plain flour, sugar, vanilla extract, uh, some baking powder, quite a lot of baking powder. Maybe come on to that in just a moment. Uh, two eggs and some butter that needs to be melted. Uh, and whilst that is melting, we are actually having a little bit of a roll back to the production levels right now. And a lot of you are asking me, am I all right? And stuff like that. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but I do miss having someone around. I do miss the, the level production level we got to. Um, and I generally don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But all I will ask is that whatever I decide to do going forward, that hopefully it's something that you guys will enjoy. I'm gonna just have a little think about the, the, the things that I enjoyed out of it and see if I can find a perfect balance. All right, so this is for the cake portion of this cake. We've got milk and this is two eggs and some good quality vanilla extract. I am definitely, 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 definitely doing the video on homemade vanilla extract. Do you know why? Because I'm currently filming it right now. It takes a little while. This is some plain flour, sugar, and the baking powder. Contemporary coffee cakes in the United States rarely contain coffee. American coffee cakes are typically presented in a single layer flavored with either fruit or cinnamon and leavened with baking powder, which is what we're doing. That's why I've wanted to talk about this now, which will result in a more cake-like texture. 
Yeah, but of course it's cake-like texture. We're making cake. Or maybe this is the twist. Sometimes yeast is used, which results in a more bread-like texture, which, yes, that's fairly self-explanatory. You Americans are crazy. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get like messages from people in America going, no, we have coffee cake. I don't know what you're on about. But apparently in the 19th century, American cooks would then start to implement coffee into some recipes as a way of like using up leftovers and to pad out the cake. I just thought I was making a really nice recipe. This is like pretty full on. So the dry now meets the wet ingredients. So our egg, vanilla, milk combo, specified full fat milk. We very, very rarely get that, but I quite enjoy doing it from time to time, especially for a cake as well, you know, why not? So I've got to say, this is really unusual for me. It's nearly two in the afternoon, unless it's like a really epic video. This goes against everything that I've always done, like, I think it's actually like a deadline within my head because of like the kids coming home from school, right? And just that this is our house kitchen. This is absolutely legit. The recipe is telling, I don't know why, like it's just a thing that I do. I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but um, if I'm told to use a certain dimension pan, even a cake tin, and sometimes they say it on the bottom, I still get a tape measure out and double check it. <laughs> But I'm happy to report we can proceed with this recipe. Alrighty, just preheating my oven and I've got a bowl here for the coating which gets hidden in the middle and then we bung it on the top. I am so tempted to just put a little bit of coffee in there. I don't want to ruin it, but maybe just like one fifth down one end. It shouldn't merge too much, should it? <laughs> I just can't remember which end. Quality quite obvious. Let's do it, let's do it. Down there are some pecans, which I think in America people call them pecans. And that used to always like freak me out. Well, anyhow, in this bowl is some light brown sugar. We did need normal brown, dark brown sugar, but couldn't find any, sorry. So light brown sugar. Hopefully this cinnamon we've got there will uh, darken that a little bit. And also some flour. So I guess it's gonna thicken it slightly. Oven's preheating as I just bring the camera down. Uh, I'm just gonna roughly chop these. I said about this the other day, how uh, I needed to buy uh, whole nuts only to chop them up. They didn't actually sell chopped pecans. So the chopped nuts go in there and off to one side here is, boom, a big old block of butter. It's telling me to now bung this all in the microwave and melt it. So again, nice and slow so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Maybe blast, otherwise it will blast. And I've got to tell you, I have had the osteopath appointment this morning. Normally I get absolutely exhausted. So is that thing where I've always tried to film in the morning, like I say, and it was supposed to be hammering down a rain. And it's like, a, it's like, oh, it's okay. I'm getting away with this. The only thing is I normally go really sleepy after I have my like joints all broken. So I'd normally do the editing in the afternoon. I'm sometimes like falling asleep at my desk like after the osteopath. So like, maybe cooking is, is the right way forward. But seriously, like with the osteopath, when they do like, they like crick your neck and stuff. And it's like sometimes it, kind, of, kind of nice. Do you know what I mean? It's like, ooh, that hurt like hell, but do it again. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm getting the kettle on because I am going to coffee it. Oh, there we go. That colour's looking good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take half of that batter. I'm going to take some coffee and I'm going to put it down one side here, just this little channel, into the cake batter, just into this section, okay? And for my memory, I'm going to literally stick that there. <laughs> so I remember. And we now take that filling and put it on top. Beautiful. Just like how this day's turned out. Honestly, I did this whole like spiel. I'm like, yep, yeah, do you know what? I can talk about how, like, how it's good to embrace potential change and like me getting the lights out and trying to change my mindset of filming in the afternoon rather than the day. And it's like, it's a bright day. <laughs> right, batter on. So I'm gonna put it on top of the coffee one. First of all, that end, just to try and flatten that down a bit and then work along here. The rest of it is all going on. Oh, it looks a bit like the time I did the Babka from the uh, Great British Bake Off. That was a really fun video. Proper intense though. Scatter this filling on top again. All of it now that's left over. So I'm gonna do a bit more coffee on this end only. Just this little channel here, okay? I don't think it's got the potential to separate all the way down that end at the very least. I feel like mixing it up. I'm just going to get a table knife and swirl it like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, no more than that. I think that's my sort of safe zone there for that. But then we want to swirl the coffee one in. So I'll just do that like there. Oh, it's sort of curdling it. <laughs> Side note, it does look like a massive ice cream tray that I just want to shove my face in. But instead, let's bake it. Coffee on the left 
cake on the right that is if the blobs fall off but that is like it's just gonna genuinely help me unless I've got blobs on the other side so apparently it goes in there for about half an hour I'm not gonna make the icing just yet I'm gonna spend the next half an hour washing up and also mulling over whether I should coffee frost that little section coffee on the left I probably will why not all right folks the oven timer has just gone off and it was in there for 30 minutes and it should i haven't looked at it because i've been busy boy oh yes my coffee side looks a little bit more soaked yes that looks a it's puffed up way more than i thought it would let's get it out and have a look oh yeah baby oh you beautiful looking thing can you see the coffee on this side coffee on your left is that your left <laughs> Beautiful. Now yeah, check out that colour. I am loving the marbling on there. So we'll let it cool in there a little bit whilst we make that cream cheese icing. I guess it's going to be one of those things where we eat straight out of this. That's told me to get some cream cheese. I blooming love a cream cheese frosting, which of course is um, very common on cinnamon rolls. In goes some icing sugar and some milk. Now I am going to divvy this up and do a little bit with coffee in just for my little channel. But let's just uh, let that icing sugar absorb into the cream cheese. And that is going to be poured straight on top. And we've got some of this is some espresso, by the way. But you do want to make it quite strong when you make a normal coffee cake. It's normally like a ratio of like almost a tablespoon of each, like coffee granules and, and water. Oh, <laughs> that is good. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. A cream cheese coffee frosting. Now I know which one's which. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. The banding, I'm gonna try and focus on that a minute. Look at that. All right, here we go. Ugh. Look, it is cake-like. Mmm. Oh, wow. I'm not getting much of the cinnamon taste at all on there. The main taste is the pecans. Oh, it's nice though. Mrs. B will love that. And right here, I've got a little bit of the coffee one. I want to try it myself. Let's see what that's like. Oh, there's a very, very mild taste of coffee, but that actually lifted the taste of the cinnamon. What? It raises the taste of the cinnamon and I got a little coffee note there. Wow, I'm turning into a taste tester. Notes, mm, very nice. I absolutely love that. I think if I was to do it again, I'd probably add even more coffee in it to really push that. But if you don't want it, that sort of stays more subtle. So the coffee did lift that cinnamon, like I say. Really interesting to know what Mrs. B thinks. And she finishes, she'll be home in about 10 minutes. So that'll still be warm. And for me, I've kind of overcome that fear of cooking sort of so late in the day and worrying about the light. In fact, we've actually nailed it. It's really sunny now. Thunderstorms were forecast, so maybe uh, next week, I'll, when it's British summer, I will definitely uh, try and have those lights out and see if I can bodge something. Uh, but absolutely stonking. I have been fed well today. Give it a go if you want, and I'll see you next time. Ciao. Oh, I'm excited. You made me a cake. I've been looking forward to this all day. Mmm. I bet you need to move that away from like, you, like, no, I won't eat my dinner. And I've already had a chocolate bar today. <laughs> That's okay. the sort of thing I could eat until I'm, I actually feel unwell. <laughs> <laughs>